Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're going to be covering all of the news updates regarding a brand new Max Raid event happening over this coming weekend. So as it is the Easter weekend, the Pokemon Company have introduced a brand new event in conjunction with Easter and uh, created an Easter event. If we hop over to our trusty source at Cerebi, we can take a look at some of the details before jumping into this specifics of the den you can see here we've got the easter event it is coined that uh, it will be running from today as of recording this video on the 2nd of april until april the 4th so as always we have a few days to kind of take advantage of this event and maybe catch a few of the the prize pokemon that will be a uh, popping up within it so uh, as you can see the early april special max raid event features a rabbit themed pokemon as well as a chance of getting a shiny azumarill which is one of my all-time favorite shiny pokemon that we've got access to in the entire Pokemon universe, at least in Sword and Shield. So if we click over to the event details, let me just squiggle this to the side so we can actually take a look at the Pokemon. Uh, you can see here, just to recap before we get into anything, it is running from today, the 2nd of April, and will run till Sunday, the 4th of April. So you've got, uh, like I say, a few days to take advantage of this event. We're starting off with the one star raids, and remember with the star rating with these dens, if you want to access the higher rate, uh, rated dens, you're going to need more gym badges. So to access the five star raids, you're going to need to have got all the gym badges lower down. Well, less gym badges you got the lower start rate you can you can access so you'll still be able to access the dens in this event but to get the real juice of the event you're going to need to complete all your gym badges but by now i'm pretty sure most of you have done we'll start off with the one star raids you're going to get maril binary and bonelby Oh, well, that was a bit of a mouthful. So uh, anyway, all the, all the little bunnies to start off with. Um, no special items here. You've got 20% chance on the Marl, 15% on the other Marl, 20%, 15, 15, 15 uh, across the board. So you can see that's kind of a starting off. So you've got pretty good chances of the one star raids if you can access those. And then we move on to the two star raids. It's going to be Azumarill, Lopunny, and Diggersby. Uh, pretty much similar spawn rates throughout. No special items that I'm kind of seeing for this event, which is a little bit of a shame. It could have done something there, like maybe Lucky Egg as well. Chance of getting one of those. Three star raids will move on. Exactly the same spread of Pokemon. We've got Azumarill, Lopunny, and Diggersby. And then we move on to the four star raids. Uh, again, no special items you're just getting more items uh for these higher ranked raid dens and uh you've got azumarill low pony and diggersby again all the bunnies and then we come on like i say to the juice to the five star raids this is where all the actions happen and these are the dens that you're going to want to try and concentrate on and get a hold of this weekend so you're starting off with a 23 percent chance to get your regular azumarill Lots of items here. Uh, again, nothing like super like exclusive. Then we've got 20% chance for the Law Pony. 5% chance for this other Law Pony. Is there any variation here? Doesn't look like there are. That's a little strange. But anyway, and then we've got 25% chance for a Diggersby spawning. And then 25% chance of a G-Max Cinderace spawning which when i initially saw it i thought brilliant you've got two things going on this weekend this is great but there is a huge drawback to this g max cinderace you are not going to be able to catch it so it is a huge tease and uh, a little bit well not a little bit very disappointing because g max cinderace a very cool pokemon really good opportunity for people to actually get this uh but unfortunately you're not going to be able to catch this pokemon through this event this weekend you can only encounter it and defeat it and uh, you're not getting really any special items for doing this either so there's not really any incentive other than saying oh here's a carrot i'm dangling it in front of you and uh, by the way you can't have it but don't be too sad because we do have something else in this den. Obviously, you can see it on the screen right now. I haven't covered it yet, but we're going to talk about it. And that is the square shiny Azumarill that you're going to have the opportunity to catch this weekend. 2% chance spawn rate as normal with these kind of special events that are popping up uh, every so often. Guaranteed square shiny, which is amazing. And um, it is one of the best shinies that we've got access to you know um i am so excited for this it's definitely an event i will be taking full advantage of azumarill is one of my favorite pokemon anyway and to have it 
as a shiny, a square shiny, have the opportunity to get it. It's definitely something I'll be taking advantage of. Again, there's no special items with it. Um, really kind of just the regular stuff that you would get with these event dens. Um, and sword and shield are exactly the same. So you're going to get the same Pokemon in each star rating as you would in Pokemon Sword as in Pokemon Shield. So it doesn't matter which variation of the game you do have. So just to recap before we hop over any further... It is running from April the 2nd, like I say, today of recording this, whenever you're watching it. Hopefully you're watching this over this period until Sunday the 4th. So over the Easter weekend is when it will be running. Okay, now, covered all the details here. I want to hop back into the game, turn the lights on. What you want to do is get a red beam. Uh, you really want to preferably drop a wishing piece because that's that's probably the best way you're going to have to manipulate the den. If you want to do the date skip glitch, you're going to want to be able to do that. So you can only do it with a wishing piece. You can't do it with just a randomly spawned den that's just appeared in the wild area, uh, Crown Tundra or the Isle of Armour. So you can do it with any den anywhere but it has to be a red beam and really to do the datescape glitch you're going to need to have dropped a wishing piece first so once you've got your event den what you want to do is the first thing is to update your wild area news you want to come over here and just go to your mystery gift update wild area news it will connect to the internet it will update all of the dens like i say in the galar region crown tundra and the isle of armor get that message and then the dens are done and then when you come into the den it should have updated to the uh, event the event that's running of course now i have got a five star zoom roll here um because this is a second take of today's video because of the audio issues that i had the first time around i know this isn't a shiny a zoom roll so what i want to do is try and find another five star a zoom roll so i've saved in front of it of course uh, so i can reset come back to this point in the game what you want to do is invite others just to show you new people out there that don't know about this, once it's started searching, hit your home menu, come down to system settings, come down to system, come down to date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock by the internet is set to off. And then you want to come down to date and time. Knock your date forward one day and hit OK. Home menu, back into the game, quit out of the den. And that will trick the game into thinking 24 hours have passed. It will change the den, the seed, and the Pokemon in there will change as well. As you can notice, you're going to gain 2,000 watts, so the den has reset. And we've got a three-star zoom rail, so that's not the one we want. So you want to just keep continually repeating this process until you hit that five-star zoom rail, if you're hunting for the, the zoom rail, of course. Um, and then when you do find your five-star zoom rail, just save in front of the den. And then go in and check it. If it's not shiny, reset the game, come back into it and um, try again by just going through the date skip glitch until you come across your next five star zoom roll. Check that. Uh, obviously save in front of it every time before you do check it. So you can just reset and come back and kind of carry on so you're not wasting wishing pieces. Um, so that is the method to kind of shiny hunting it. Don't worry, it's not it's not anything that's going to get you banned. It's not legal. It's not anything that's bad. It's just a way for you to actually hunt these shinies um, and have an opportunity to get them because kind of coming across them in the wild uh, area and just random dens that are spawning 2% spawn rate it's going to take a long time for you to do that and obviously the dens only update every 24 hours so um it, it will take a long time and the chances of you getting it aren't very good uh the other way to do it is look for people hosting raids online a lot of people host these raids online and they will have the shiny potentially so you can maybe hop in join those raids and grab one of those if you're lucky other way to do it is join our discord group because i'm sure we've got a lot of fine people that will be hosting the shiny den over this weekend come and join the link is down in the description it's a great community over there it would be great to have you over there so as you can see i've saved in front of the den i've got my next five star azumarill what we're going to do is just hop in and see if it is the shiny one. I'm praying that it is. I've come across one, but the chances are 2%, very slim. It'd be amazing for the video if it was. Please, come on. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I'm sad. I really do love, like, shiny Azumarill. I think it's, like, literally one of the best shiny Pokemon ever. I know I've said that a few times throughout this video, but I can't say it enough. Anyway. Um, that about wraps it up for today's kind of update. Obviously, we will have an update later on. Um, well, 
after this weekend i would imagine probably monday we're going to get the april max raid events we had a magic cop event for april fools yesterday where we would normally have the april events kind of kicking off but they're probably putting this off till after this event so look out for that on monday and i will do a full video on what we're going to get for april as in the new max raid events that will be going forward uh, hopefully you get something spicy it'd be nice if they mix things up a little bit from previous events that we've had but we'll have to see what happens as always i will be covering the updates um i was a bit un sad that i couldn't cover the magic cop yesterday just with work and things like that i wasn't able to do any content for that but i am able to do this one for this weekend so i hope you found it useful and as always if you do catch the shiny azuma roll, please let me know down in the comment section below i will won't be super jealous because it is obviously one of my favorite shiny pokemon and uh also be very happy for you because uh, obviously having that added to the collection is always a nice thing to have but uh, i'm going to continue hunting on for this one um, and if you are good luck have patience and you will eventually get it but i'm going to wrap things up there have a great easter weekend if you're celebrating easter if you're not celebrating easter then have a great weekend anyway take care of yourselves and i'll catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye